this question is from Amy and it says, I've heard I need to make sacrifices to achieve my goals. This seems to contradict what you talk about. I guess I do contradict that in my videos. Isn't some degree of sacrifice necessary to achieve excellence? So that's Amy's question. And I'm going to address it here because I think it's a really good question. Do we have to make sacrifices in order to achieve our goals? Do we have to do make sacrifices in order to achieve excellence? So when we're talking about excellence. The short answer is it's kind of complicated, but I'm going to ultimately say no. We do not want to have any mentality of making sacrifices or a sense of sacrifice when we're going after our goals. And the other thing is that it's not even necessary. In fact, it's, um, it's just an unhealthy way to think about achieving excellence. If someone said to you, it's important to achieve a state of excellence, we, we can have a reaction to that. You know, it's like, oh God, uh, that's for special people. You know, that's not for ordinary people like me, right? But excellence is a very subjective thing. Um, whatever excellence means to each of us in our own individual personal life is what we're talking about here. We're not talking about some societal standard of excellence. Excellence is what excellence means to us individually. So in that regard, excellence is important. You know, why not achieve excellence if we're the ones that are defining it? So in terms of how do we actually achieve a state of excellence, I have two things I always talk about. And the formula I use for excellence is focus plus boundaries or maybe that's focus multiplied by boundaries there are two there, there are two factors involved to achieve any excellence any state of excellence any level of excellence we have focus and boundaries those are the two things now if we can combine those two things together we will inevitably achieve a level of excellence in whatever it is we put our mind to so the first thing focus why is focus so important and maybe that's what some people mean by sacrifice they mean you cut out a lot of the distractions the things that aren't important what i really mean by focus and why i think focus is so important is well if you're going to achieve excellence okay you need to have focus if you have focused if you're focused you're going to arrive at a mindset of simplicity okay focus means look there's only one thing i'm really focused on here moving towards and that one thing only having one thing that you're focused on leads to a feeling of simplicity okay there's no confusion and when there's simplicity a sense of no confusion inevitably you're going to succeed in whatever that thing is you see it's the doubt and it's the uncertainty in goal attainment that makes it very very difficult and makes us tend to fail in that so focus is a thing because it gives you a sense of simplicity okay so we do want to be focused you know this to be excellent in one thing think of someone who's excellent like again we're not comparing ourselves to these people but like think of Lionel Messi or you know Ronaldo or some musician or scientist or whoever who has achieved the state of excellence a writer maybe they tend to be focused really on whatever that is whatever the thing is they're doing so they have a sense of focus and but the thing is it gives them a sense of simplicity in life so that's what we want to achieve here okay that's the really important thing it's not necessarily you win brownie points for sacrificing things it just gives you a sense of simplicity so that's the first thing now the other thing is okay if i'm focused and i have a sense of simplicity there's only one thing i'm really moving towards how can we remain balanced with that attitude because that sounds like it's going to become obsessive it's going to become unhealthy and this is where our boundaries come in so it's almost as if we're going to be only consciously focused on one thing. So that's our conscious attention. What about, our, is there another type of attention that we're not talking about here? The way I, I put this is the obligated mind, that's something we have, and that's in charge of having a goal, a very clear goal, it's a conscious goal, it's a rational mind mindset that we find ourselves in, in the obligated mind. And this is the other mindset we have is the spontaneous mind. And that's much more intuitive. The spontaneous mind, you could describe it more as uh, Carl Jung would say, it's the feminine. And the obligated mind is much more of a masculine mindset. Each of, the, each of us has that within ourselves. But we want to have a balance. You can still be focused solely on one goal and that's your obligated mind. But the boundary comes in with, I have a 
space where I step out of that into this more spontaneous mindset. So I don't let the conscious one goal that I have monopolize my entire life. I leave space to, I, I do it, I have standards around that, but then I step away from it into something else. And the thing is, the spontaneous mind is given charge of all the other life areas. You know, you can be super focused on one specific goal, but you know, we all know that there are multiple other areas of life. So the spontaneous mind is given, given authority in how those things should be organized for us. It's much more intuitive. It's much more about standards and rule setting and, and uh, things of that nature. It's not typically uh, addressed in terms of um, standards and rules. It's much more about intuition. It's how do I feel? Can I actually proactively remove as many rules and restrictions around my, my time in the spontaneous mind? If we can have a balance between these, these two things, hopefully you can see here that it is possible to be focused on one thing and also have a space in your life where you're coming out of that obligated mind because it's not healthy to be in that mindset all the time and you're moving into addressing other areas of your life, but just with a different psychological frame or a different mindset. So those are the two things. Again, the formula here is focus plus boundaries. It's boundaries are, are around that focused goal. Then you step away from it and you're into this spontaneity mindset that we're talking about here. So some people think, well, look, I can have my, my obligated mind, my masculine frame around this, but I find it hard to switch off and let go of all these other areas and give them over to this intuitive mindset. The thing about excellence is though, if you are focused on one goal and you're achieving a state of excellence in that goal, there tends to be a kind of a, a positive emotional affect or a positive emotion you get. You get a sense of momentum. And that positive momentum, that sense of growth in this one area, allows you to be more willing to step away from overly controlling these other areas of your life. It's almost as if the psychological momentum you're gathering over here kind of spills over into other areas and you become more willing to let go of micromanaging them and controlling them all the time. So this excellence that we achieve, it does lead to a willingness to let go of control of all these other areas because you know, you're extra exercising a level of control here, some degree of control, some degree of obligation, some degree of that rational masculine mindset is useful, very useful until it becomes, you know, if you have your whole day in that mindset, it becomes very unhealthy. So Amy, I hope that answers your question. I think you, you talked about a sense of sacrifice. With the approach I take of, of having these two mindsets, there is no sacrifice. We have focused attention, move towards our goal, but we have boundaries around it so that we can live within the obligated and spontaneous mindset. And everything gets addressed, nothing gets sacrificed. You can still be focused, but you have a balanced lifestyle. So I, mean, I hope that was useful. And to anyone else watching this, I hope that was a useful insight for you. And uh, as always, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.